Hello friends and welcome back to Starfield with Emily's game. On our last episode we did the Indum 3A artifact mission. We're going to go ahead and jump onto the Freya 3 artifact mission tonight and uh, retrieve that artifact and move on. And as you can see I cannot jump that far but we can get part way there and hopefully Hopefully not get attacked along the way, because that seems to happen a lot anymore. I've also noticed... Yep. Oh, Crimson Fleet. I haven't seen these guys in a little bit. They do not like me. Got news for you, friends. Oh, I've not used this ship in battle yet. I was hoping to board them and uh, and loot. <laughs> I added some missiles to this ship. Did you guys see that? I got four missiles to shoot out after him. I love it. I was reading a little bit about the weapon systems, and I believe I believe you can. Um, reduce the amount of weapons you actually have. So you know how I have three... I have three types of weapons. I have ballistics, missiles, and I, I think it's lasers. Um, if you reduce down to two types of weapons, they will recharge faster. But that is something I might try later on, is I might take away one of the least, lesser effective weapons and try and see if I can't get it to uh, work in my benefit. Until then, let's jump on to this artifact. Isn't my Star Eagle pretty? I like it. I'm not sure how I feel about the color, but... Oh, this sounds great. We're probably going to uh, pick up some people, and they're going to try to hijack us. <laughs> oh, it just repeats. I guess we just need to get there. And... Whoa! Why does the ship take off after communications? Oh, uh, we just have to investigate the distress. Okay, well maybe that's what we do. Is the satellite just relaying the message? I don't know. I must have missed something somewhere. of nothingness. What in... Oh, I'm like... I had no idea what I was seeing there. Alright. I know not all of you have seen my other videos, and that's cool, but I wanted to show you something, those of you that have played the game before. Everybody knows about the boost pack. But I think what a lot of people don't know, and this is a huge thing, I think if you do a lot of... Uh, planetary travel is if you set in your key bindings a second an alternate key or a second key to the jump which is also your boost when you jump and hit that key it will propel you forward faster so instead of hitting the space bar to uh to float or whatever you want to call it hit the secondary button after you've jumped and it will propel you much 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 faster it's awesome 
Additionally, to go along with that, wrong screen, if you switch, different planets obviously are different. If you're on a low grav uh, planet, play around with your boost packs, but I think the, um, the skipping pack works better on the low grav because otherwise you're just kind of floating faster up than you are forward <clears throat> with the with this, just with the power boost but the skip boost seems to which one did i have equipped yeah so the skip boost seems to work a little better I think that's actually what I had equipped. Let's switch it out to the other one. This is such a cool thing. I, I I feel like everybody needs to know about it because I've not I've not read it anywhere. Yeah, if you notice that, it just propels you higher faster on lower grab planets. So play with the different boost packs. You'll probably find one that works better for you than another. You might like the effects of one over the other. The, you know, from what I like, um, we're all different. We all like our own things, that's for sure. Oh, I should have grabbed that ledge. But yeah, anyway, I love that feature, so I hope you find it useful. I will be posting um, that as just a tip video at some point. As soon as I get around to doing some edits, ooh, that'll explode. And also, while we're walking, I just want to take this time to thank you all for watching. I hope you're enjoying, and if you're not, let me know. I take criticism well. My goal is to hopefully produce something some people like. And I'm Definitely open to trying different things. Oh god, you scared me. I didn't know you were there. Ooh, a kraken. That just sounds terrible, doesn't it? Alright, let's go. Why am I okay and Andresia not? I'm sorry, friend. Wherever you went. Okay. Thought he was gonna get the door. Claire, dude, I got all sorts of shit on me, man. See this? Sir. That noise would give you would, would make you sick after a while, I think. Ethan Hughes, Chief of Security. If you'll follow me, I'll show you to the director. No credentials. You're just gonna trust me that I'm well, I didn't guess I didn't say who I was, did I? We'll take the back way up. <clears throat> See our lovely storage area. Don't touch anything. It is lovely. 
so, not gonna lie. Uh, uh oh, oh dogs. I don't know what just happened. It scared the hell out of me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's the same room. Oh shit. What the f Sorry. I'm in the same room. It's like an alternate reality. No way. This is weird. Okay, I was not expecting that. That was kind of cool. I'm excited now. I was kind of bored in the last mission because it was just running through a building that you've been in because it looks just like, you know, another building. But, you know. You know how it be. Do, do, do. Oh, it's creepy. Do you guys hear it? Oh, it's gross. What the? Ah! Oh, why can't I shoot? Oh, because I have a scanner out. This sounds like a puppy. Oh, well, now I feel bad. I did. Where'd you go? Really? All that for that? I've already got one of those. What no value. Uh, grumble, grumble, grumble. All right. Don't mind if I do. Oh, damn. How long ago, what, what, well. Oh, this is gross. I'm really not sure what I'm supposed to do here. Explore the ruins, so there's nothing there. Explore the ruins. That is what we'll do. I mean, do I just start blowing shit up? I will probably be fast forwarding a lot of this for you guys. But you aren't sitting here crying. Why the heck Emily's taking so long to get through something that you might know the answer to? I don't want to waste my grenades. And I've not found anything that actually breaks glass yet. So... Hmm... Oh, 
All right, fine. What the? Easy, easy. Bye. I'm glad that grenade the stayed was there. Dead. You tell me. This is my prompt. <laughs> One minute, you're following me, and then you're just gone. The you hell, man? Popping out of nowhere, looking like you were in the middle of a fight. Okay, so I'm not sure what happened, but I went to throw a grenade at that whatever that was, where the uh, marker was, and as soon as I let it go, I'm back here. But there's nothing here. I should have never let you inside. What is this? Some kind of stealth tick. Oh, Who come I on. I work for myself. Look, I don't know what's going on. Let's get you to the director. Maybe she can figure this out. Hey, let's hold hands. So if I disappear again, you come with me. Wait a minute. I know you had a box over here. Where'd it go? Okay, that was that was a fun little. Don't get caught! Don't get caught! Don't get caught! Don't get caught! Oh man, these storage crates are getting crappy. God damn it! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, holy shit! You tell me! Who are you? Are you the one that set the. Uh, can't even God, see. Oh, yeah. Someone came. Hi. The distress signal. You picked up the distress signal, right? I think so. Sure. What do you mean? Wait. How did you get in here? I walked. What? What are you talking about? No. No, no, no. This doesn't make any sense. Unless... The accident... Maybe... Maybe this is a side effect of the accident. If the probe is still feeding power to the distortion, then... Right. Sorry. Three months ago, I was calibrating an experiment in our high-energy research lab. There was an accident. An explosion. It caused a gas leak. Sparked a fire. I was trapped in the control room. There was nothing I could do. They're... They're all dead. The lab was built around a xenolith with a dense metallic odd... Ah! Just disappear! We should... Wait! She's, she's back! Alright, we're on our way up. Fuse out. I was just filling in the director. Let's keep moving. Well, yeah, let's move. Let's go. If anything happened, the director's office is on the second floor, end of the hall. You can't miss it. Second floor, end of hall. God bless it. <laughs> I don't know why it's so jumpy. I get that way sometimes. Hallucinogen. Fun stuff. Medbay. Oh my gosh, I'm not going to read this. Uh, you can pause here. I'm just going to skim through it real quick. Okay, so basically there was just a hydrogen explosion and they were trying to contain it. Doesn't sound like that they were successful in that endeavor. This reminds me of the legacy. Those poor saps on it ran out of food and ended up starving to death basically. If you're not familiar with that, that was Crix's legacy. Uh, it was orbiting Bannock 4. 
and uh, we had to go there for the Crimson Fleet. Okay, we were heading down this hallway, I believe. This freaky sounding. I want to find incendiary bullets for my shotgun. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> <He's weird. laughs> oh, my God. Oh. I'm sorry, I get this way once a month or so. I get a little crazy, a little loopy. <sighs> It's probably the best time for me to play and record. Thank you. Come in. Kaya Patel, research director. And this is our chief scientist, Maria Hughes. Ethan said you disappeared right in front of him. Twice now? Three times? Director, you can't be taking this seriously. Look, I don't know who you are or what you're doing here, but there has to be a rational explanation for all of this. <laughs> yeah. What does our research have to do with this? No, it's fine. Let's start there. This facility and the research level two kilometers beneath us were built to study a gravitational distortion. Three months ago, our chief engineer was calibrating an experimental probe when something went Let me guess, there's an explosion. He disappeared. You never saw him again? There was a series of explosions, and somehow it's still running. That would make sense. You think? That's why the field strength oh, no. is increasing. We have a control unit for the probe. After the accident, I tried to use it to shut down the system, but the kill switch isn't responding. We could shut it off manually, but the entire research level is locked down. We can't even get down there. Sounds like a job for Emily. An artifact? Really? That's all you're gonna say? Hey, you're gonna no, tell me no, shit either. Fair enough. You have a prior connection with them, then. Maybe that's why this is only affecting you. That is quite a claim. What makes you think that? Tell us about this other universe. Aliens, lady. All sorts of them. Raphael. Raphael died in the accident. He... Wait, burned out? The leak? <laughs> Director, there was a hydrogen leak right after the accident. It was contained in a minute or two. But if it hadn't been, it could well have caused an explosion. Another universe, though. That's a lot to swallow. Not if you've seen what I've seen. I told you the research levels locked down. We can't even use the damn elevator. What? Clever. In this other universe, Raphael survived. He made it back from the lab. So clearly his elevator works. Oh, I doubt nothing Take works it. there. And you might be able to shut down the experiment. This is crazy. No, you're crazy. First, we have to do something about your shifting. Do we? We can't shut down the probe, but we might be able to adjust some of the other parameters. It's risky. We don't know what we're dealing with, but... <sighs> All right. It's worth a try. Then it sounds like we have a plan. Awesome. This is a pretty cool mission. The control I... unit is in the fabrication lab next door. We're in no hurry here. Take your time. I got myself into... You tell me. Oh, God bless it. <laughs> oh, I can't get through here. Director. Oh, uh, you didn't fare very well. Time has not been kind to you, my friend. Oh, 
good lord, it throws stuff. I didn't know that. <laughs> you guys think that shifting? It, it makes me jumpy. You should see when I play Alien Isolation. Maybe I'll do that one day. Although I may, I may just walk away with my headphone on. <laughs> oh, oh, forgive me. I'm not crazy, you're crazy. I mean, if I needed a shower, this would be the place to go, right? Oh, this is that room. They're in the vents! They're in the walls, man! Sorry. If any of you are alien fans, you you'd know. You know. Okay. Um let's backtrack from whence we came. Oh! Monkey. Corners and doors, guys. Corners and doors. Nope, why did I re... That one took a little more doing. You know, this game might be fun with the multiplayer aspect. I never checked to see if that was there was plans for that or not, but I think that would be enjoyable with the right person. Oh, good lord! God, you people, stop it! Oh, it's you. What happened? You disappeared, and the ceiling caved in, and... and uh, I thought I'd finally lost it. How? Look, if you think things are bad up here, the research level is even worse. I barely made it out, and that was months ago. I don't understand any of this. If I hadn't seen you disappear with my own eyes, I wouldn't have believed it. I... Okay, okay. You're my ticket out of here. Ain't no ticket, way. buddy. We can get out through the pantry. Here's the key. I'll back you up, I guess. I guess. <laughs> Here, you lead the way. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> I have no idea where the pantry is. Hey, I found the pantry. Oh. I'm sorry, you guys. I don't know what. I don't know what's wrong with me. I mean. I know what's wrong with me. I don't know what's up with me. Oh God! Holy. What the? Security breach! Oh, everybody out! That's where my heart jumps when it happens. What did an animal come with me, or you just freaked out because I'm in here? <laughs> Slow motion and then run. Okay, that was fun. You didn't get the memo. Security breach. You better run. <laughs> yes, I'm back.
I've already spoke to him. Can we just go? Look at this. It's going to take hours to clear this out. Assuming the rest of the building doesn't come down on top of us. They're a native species. We had an electric pulse field to keep them out. The fire took out the generators, damaged the foundation. They just keep coming. How should I know? You're the one who keeps winking in and out of existence. You live here? I just want to get out of here. Go do whatever you're going to do. I'll see if I can clear a path to the door. Yeah, shovel. It sounds like a gross job. Yeah. Alright, gang. Let's go. Ugh, this is so gross. Ugh. Glad I double looked here. <laughs> Why? Hey, buddy. I'm back. Did you miss me? Give me all your keys and ammo and stuff, because I'm going to need it. And just like that, it's done. Pretty sure I got a Nova Light. It's not that heavy, I'll take it. I mean, we could probably use that screwdriver, huh? Hey, pal. What? I... Oh, it's you. You just looked you at me. You just broke into my locked office. So much for security protocols. What a day, huh? <laughs> yeah, let me get the doors for you. And done. Is there anything else you need? I don't know what that noise was, but that was freaky. <laughs> Bigger than you'd expect. We've got a particle accelerator, whole lab complex, the high energy research lab. Real state of the art. Can't tell you what a tenth of it actually does. Okay, I got the rest. My good man. I'm just gonna pop back out there, aren't I? I know it's gonna happen any minute now. Okay. Hello. Oh, God, I'm waiting for it. I know it's gonna happen. It still freaks me out. Hey, you did it. No, you didn't. God bless it. Are there, okay, so hold on a second. Are there like points of entry? Let's try this again. Got it. I got you. Oh. All right, so this puts us back here. Okay, so don't go towards the cafeteria. That makes you, now that I know it's coming, it doesn't make me jump so much. Oh, didn't know that one was coming. See, I can throw shit too. Oh, I've not seen that one before. It's funny because I pick those up and then I forget I've got them and then I never use them. And then I'm like, oh man, I should have used those. That would have been helpful. Why not? I got a feeling we're going to burn through ammo in here. <clears throat> oh, hello. What you doing? How you doing? Oh, that's right. Because I walked into this cafeteria. That goes to the cafeteria. I walked over to this table and it shot me into here. So, okay. I know where I'm at. I know what I did. I just don't know where I'm going.
Or do I? Bum, bum, bum. I don't like you. But I do like this gun. Okay, those are all young guys. I wonder what happens with the not so young critters. Mother. This is an interesting lock. <clears throat> That's a freaking novice. What's the matter with you, Emily? I swear to God, that's what I did. I hate you, box. This is the probe control. Oh, unit. shit. Most of these controls aren't responding. I'm going to very carefully adjust the settings I can. Where does that thing There's go? There's no way to tell what's about to happen. Pay attention and be ready for anything. I'll begin by adjusting the energy feed of the electron beam array. We're at 93 terabolts. Calibrating to 95, 97, 100. Ugh, nothing. Let's try the other way. 91, 89. What the? Okay, okay. It looks safe to approach, but what in the world? Oh, do you guys know what that is? I know what that is. Not that I know what it is, but I know where we see them uh, occasionally. It's a micro distortion. Mm -hmm. The pattern matches the distortion in the lab. The setting is just exposing it somehow. Hmm. Step into the distortion, please. Oh, what? So that. <laughs> So that I can Look, disappear. Whatever's going on here, it's not affecting me. You want to call this whole thing off? Fine. Otherwise, step into the field. Yes, ma'am. <sighs> Nothing. Nothing. I'm stuck. No, hold on. There's a slight pattern change. Some kind of resonance. All right, stay there. Let I don't have a choice. Calibrating to. Give me that thing. What happened? Are you all right? So the lower setting causes the distortions to manifest and the higher causes you to shift. That seems promising. Keep it on the lower setting until you want to shift and you should be able to avoid any more accidents. I'd give you my control unit, but it looks like you already have one from the other universe. Love to take a look at that when this is all over. Oh, honey, you can have it when it's all over. I thought that said time to shut this shit down. <laughs> Forgive me. If you can get down to the research level, you need to make your way to the high energy research lab. Disengage the power interlocks. Then pull the emergency shutdown to stop the probe. That should finally put an end to all this. So. Oh, and before you go, the director wanted to speak with you. Oh, it really is just down the hall. So, do I do that in this universe or that universe? I don't know. Oh, God bless it. Sorry. Pardon me. <laughs> I didn't mean to blow your stuff up, lady. Hello. Hi. 
Oh, I found you. Well then, all set? I'm over here. Supplies, I've asked Dr. Barakov hey, to are. take care of you. It's the least I can do after everything we put you through. Before you go, there is one other thing we should discuss. Let me guess. If this experiment is the cause of your shifting, when you shut it down, the shifting will stop. What happens then? To you and to us. Nishina is a closed system. Two potential states held in tension. When you shut down the experiment, that tension will resolve. You are the outside observer in the system. Whichever reality you are in, at that moment, is what will become real. For you and your universe, at least. The question is, which will you choose? No contest. Oh, so that, that really is an option? Huh. Of course. I don't know. I'm not sure it's possible to know. It may cease to exist. It was one possible universe, but not what actually happened. We or Raphael actually did die months ago. Or it may remain real, just not in your universe. Or in some quantum sense, perhaps you make both choices and both outcomes would be real. Welcome to quantum mechanics. Nothing will change. Nothing can change. If the universe was other than it was, you would not be here to make this choice. What you choose will be what happened in your universe, the universe that brought you to this point. Hmm. If this were a choice between my life and Raphael's, I would ask you to save him. But as the director of the station, I am responsible for the lives of my staff. 30 people. People with families, careers, futures ahead of them. In this universe. Not that I can see. Have you reached a decision? You don't have to decide now. But when the time comes, please keep them in mind. Now, it's time you are going. With the network offline, we can't shut down the security system on the research level, so you can expect some resistance. Be careful. Ethan, unlock the elevator lobby, please. Ma'am, research level is still locked down. I'm aware of that. I... All right. Done. Good luck, dear. It's been a fascinating day. She said, I will re I will I will have some resistance and my mind immediately went to I will be shocked, you know, electrocuted. That's what I get for working in IT. Oh, I do I don't wanna go there. There was nothing there in the other universe, so why waste the digipick? Forget that. Wait, I thought that was... Excuse me. <clears throat> Howdy. Is there two? Is it just telling me where the distortions are? Ah, elevator. You know what? That's the one we're gonna take. I'm not gonna mess around here. Oh, are you kidding me? Can I? Ugh. Oh, you. All right, whatever. Oh, hey. Let's take a ride on the Evilator. This is getting kind of long, so I might... 
I think I'm going to wrap this episode up here. It's definitely an interesting one. It might be one of my more favorite missions so far. I really hope you've enjoyed it as well. Uh, if you're still with me, please consider liking and subscribing. Uh, come back for more. Watch my other ones. Um, if you want to leave comments, please do so. I'd love to engage with those that do. And uh, I really hope to see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye.